Hello, Daz Studio enthusiasts. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you back to my tutorial series where you don't ever have to subscribe to watch my tutorials. Now, today I wanted to show you something that is simple, but when you need to do it, it's a total pain. And that is posing shoes. Now, the reason why posing shoes is so difficult is because they're always parented onto the character. And so when you want to take those shoes off and just set them aside like I have in this scene, it's actually kind of difficult. So Milika's taking the day off. She had a hairdressing appointment, so she's not with us, but Chantel is. And I used this character in one of my recent commissions. And in the commission, this girl has gone to the doctor's office and... She's taken her shoes off so she can sit on the exam table. Now, I've got the shoes down here posed correctly. So the question is, how do I do this? And for this simple tutorial, I'm going to show you how I got this done. Now, to start with, just so that you can follow step by step, I'm going to delete the existing shoes because I don't want you to get confused with what shoes are where and then we're going to click on Chantel here and we're just going to add those shoes which are the casual spring shoes we're just going to add them to her feet when we're creating a scene we've got our character coming in and sitting down and we need to take her shoes off from previous pictures and then put them on the floor so the first thing that I do is I'm going to find Chantel. I'm going to uh, kind of scroll down until I find those shoes. So you can see they're right here. I'm going to click on the shoes and then I'm going to unparent them, which actually doesn't help you out very much because you can't move the shoes even if they're unparented. See, I'm trying to move them and I can't. So I have to right click on them again and under Fit Casual Shoes 2, I'm going to select that. It's fitted to Chantel. I'm going to choose None. And when I do that, the shoes are going to completely disappear and it gets tricky to find them. So if you have trouble finding something that you unfitted because it moves to a weird spot, I don't even understand how Daz decides where to put a prop like this once you unfit it but you can go to a different camera so I have this camera set up I'm gonna to go to my perspective view and then I'm just going to hit this little rectangle here in my menu and it's going to show me where those shoes are so there they are so it, it's really cool that this square will locate whatever you have selected so I have the select so I have the shoes selected and when I clicked on this, it just brought me right to the shoes. So where the heck are they? I'm going to zoom out and you can see that they're just below where Chantel is. So they're like directly below her. So I'm just going to have to raise them up with my Y translate. So I'm just going to raise them up, go back to my camera and I might have to zoom out a little bit, but let's find those shoes. So they're close. There they are. And uh, I'm going to move them into position where I want them. So I'm going to rotate them. Now you may notice that the shoes are parented together and there's nothing we can do. So unfortunately, I can't use any of my dials to put the shoes together like I had them. So let's zoom in to the shoes and I'm going to show you how I figured this out. There might be a better way, I don't know, but I'm going to show you how I did it. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do, because what I want to have is for the right shoe to be next to the left shoe. We can't do that with these shoes parented. So I'm going to first select duplicate and I'm going to duplicate the shoes. So I have two copies. 
then I'm going to take one of the copies and I'm just going to slide it over to where I want that right shoe to be. And I can rotate it. I can put them right together. So pretty nifty. And now I've got the shoes where I want them. But I've got these extra shoes. Well, how I get rid of these extra shoes is by selecting the shoe, I'm going to use Mesh Grabber. So I haven't talked about Mesh Grabber in quite a while, but I went on to Daz Studio and you can still get Mesh Grabber and purchase it. I was wondering if this was going to be something like RenderQ where you had to have the Daz Studio Premiere to keep purchasing Mesh Grabber, but it appears that you can still get Mesh Grabber. So if you don't have Mesh Grabber, it's a little pricey, but it's well worth it. You really need Mesh Grabber if you're going to be using Daz Studio, and I'll show you why. So once you have Mesh Grabber, what you can do is you can select one pair of the shoes and then go to your tools and select Mesh Grabber and then take the shoe that you don't want and just click and drag over that shoe so that you highlight some of the pixels. Then just take your green arrow in this case and hide the shoe. So I'm just going to drop it down and it didn't get rid of all the shoes. So I'm going to select more of the shoe and I'm just simply dragging that shoe out of view. It's distorting the shoe. It's, it's um, messing it up, but who cares? It's out of our scene. So then I can click on the next shoe and do the same thing with this shoe. Now, the more you left click and drag and highlight as many polygons as you want, it'll make things a little bit easier. But see, I can just highlight some of that shoe and then drag it down. This one worked a little bit better, but I still have remnants of that shoe. And so I'm just going to hold down my left mouse button, highlight more of that shoe and then just drop it down. Make sure that you click out of Mesh Grabber. And now see I've got those shoes on the floor posed the way that I want them. So I thought I would just show you this simply because doing something simple like let's take the shoes off of our character and then put them on the floor can be a major hassle for us. Daz Studio isn't so user-friendly when it comes to something like this. So I hope this helped you out. And you can use clothes and other props and do the same thing to pose them. And using Mesh Grabber, you can even change the shape of clothing and move it. I do have some videos on that. But I thought I would just show you this simple way to move something like shoes. I always have struggled with shoes, especially posing shoes that are not on the character. And so now we have a technique. All right, don't forget to like, subscribe, give me some comments, give me some pointers if you do this differently. But I found this an easy way to get shoes posed. All right, until next time, happy rendering and have a great day.